Rugs are battling Rio, so today is going to be a 350k team, which actually got me the best finish in foot champs that I've had in any FIFA, plus this FIFA, obviously. So um, it was the first week in league I used it. I have changed it just to upgrade it a bit, but this is the team I used for the first week in league. And uh, the upgraded team also got me the same finish. So, uh, yeah, this is a pretty good team. It plays 4 2 3 one in game or 4 4 2. I kind of switch between them. Mainly 4 2 3 one though. 4 4 2. I kind of uh, I use at the start and then change to four two three one. So you can play either, or you can play like four three three with a cam and stuff, uh, wherever, wherever you prefer. But um, yeah, I'm going to show you the tactics I use, which are pretty much just um, hashtag Harry and Texas tactics. And I know it's not great to follow people's tactics, but it worked for me, so um, I just used it. So it's um, I do have a lot of players untradeable in it, and I've moved on from it. So some people have played more games than others, but. Yeah, I did use this a lot, and it's going to be gameplay at the end from uh, Foot Champions. A few goals just to show you, but you don't need me to explain how good these players are. They're all really, really good. So, on the bench, some of the subs um, I use. I always change my subs, though. So, like, I change them around quite a bit, and obviously my rewards were down in the uh, I card at the top, which I don't know will be like up there. I think up there somewhere. I think I don't know. Um, but yeah, we'll start off with the keeper and I'll show you the in-game tactics afterwards. So in goal is Neto. Um, I've upgraded him now, but you can obviously um, use uh, Neto for now if you haven't got the coins like I did at the time. 60 games and was fine, absolutely fine for me. Uh, not much to say about a keeper in FIFA because they don't really do much. Like you, you can sort of notice him. Like I've got Edison now and he's quality. Right back, I've got a new right back, Semedo, but Cancelo is the cheaper option and is just as good. I'm not even going to lie. He's so good with a shadow on him. Um, it's annoying seeing, seeing the minus nines because he would actually have pluses all over that. But um, yeah, he's quality at right back and um, good passer and good dribbler. I'd probably say a uh, better passer than Semedo. Left centre back, thinking how are we going to link in uh, Neto? It's going to be someone from La Liga. And that is going to be Eda Militao. I paid so much for him, 23,500, and he's like 6k now, 173 games. I still use him to this day, and he's quality. Alongside him is the best centre back, centre back I've literally almost used in any FIFA. He's absolutely insane. Joe Gomez would have seen him on the thumbnail. 206 uh, games played. I packed him very early at the start, untradeable. So lucky. He's 100k to buy, and um, his his pace and defending physical with a sentinel on. You can see he's not he's not got full chem. He doesn't actually play on full chem. That's what I need to note. He's the only player on seven chem in this team. But um, yeah, he's quality. He's absolutely insane. I I literally couldn't re recommend anyone better. Then left back could go for Phil and Mendy, but we uh, we go for someone else who goes by the name of Jordi Alba. He's he's incredible. For I paid forty k and he's like I think it's twenty seven now. One hundred fifty two games. I'm still using him as well. High medium left footed. It's so good to have a left footed on the left side and right on the right. And then uh, great pace. I use the shadow to get it up higher. His agility and balance is probably what makes him so good for me. That's why I'm scared of changing to Mendy when I have the coins because I feel like he might be a downgrade on his on his agility and balance. I'm not sure what Mendy's is, but I know he won't be as agile as Jordi Alba just because he's small. He's insane. I actually really love him. He does win a lot of headers. Then uh, CDM left centre centre mid as well um, will be actually here's a centre mid. Um, I'll get rid of that because I'm gonna have to find Uruguay because it is Valverde, an absolute tank. I packed him untradeable and I've had him for ages and I still use him. He's insane, high high, which is great for the CDM because he's up and down the pitch, box to box. And with a pace like that, 89 sprint speed on a centre centre mid slash CDM is so sick. With 86 stamina, you will run around for pretty much the whole game and I never sub him off really and then next to him is a beast as well he's even better shadow on uh, Wijnaldum he's incredible he gets full cam obviously I don't think he yeah he's on 10 so these these are a boost he gets and oh my he's, he's so worth it every penny he's so sick packed him untradeable there's a little theme going on here I did say another high high so he gets up and down I, I do like that four star four star so you can use either foot I'm not sure I've clicked on it. there he is um, he only has 3 star, 3 star, so not as great as Wijnaldum, but trust me, value for coins, these centre mids are insane together. Then, my favourite attacker I've used so far has to be, he's a left forward because I've changed formation recently, uh, like to start off, Usman Dembele. Oh my god, 173 games, I think that's the exact same as Wijnaldum. I'm sure that, oh, oh no, Edda Militao. Yeah, 172 on Wijnaldum. 
Ozman Dembele's incredible. Five star, five star, left footed, high medium. Can use either for and stats like that for what? I bought him for 52. I think he's a little bit higher than that now. But he's incredible. Right wing, I play him left cam in game. Is Gareth Bale. Four star skill moves. Only three star weak foot, but he scored so many goals for me. You can see there, his record's insane. I bought him for 95k and he's like 30k now. So you're going to have to ignore the prices here because I bought these absolutely ages ago. Um, shooting's insane. 90 shot power, you can literally tell. But um, yeah. No, actually, sorry, I play him striker, not left cam. My new team, I play him left cam. He's not as good left cam as he is striker. He's insane at striker. But um, then the two strikers who don't play striker in game, it's really confusing, but one of them is going to be an Archie Williams gold, and the other is going to be the most OP little player in the world, Rodrigo. And he gets everyone full cam, the Spaniards at top, but they don't play uh, striker in game. So you could start with this formation and play great as well. Um, Rodrigo, I, that's why he's so good at uh, shooting, plus 15, he goes to 95 finishing, I didn't even realise how good that was, what is that, finisher, yeah, finisher chem style, and he, and he gets so such great boost, good agility and balance, he's brilliant, and then a hawk on uh, Naki Williams gets him a bit more, uh, what's it called, finishing, a little bit more pace, and his physicals, he's so strong in game, he's, he's quality and his jumping is good as well. So he does win a lot of headers. And if you can afford to get the upgrade on the SBC that's out right now, that will be an insane upgrade. If you get the one with dribbling, he'll be incredible. So, um, yeah, I'll show you what it plays like in-game. These are my custom tactics. Like I said, I copied from Tex and... Um, what's his face? Uh, has hashtag Harry, who's not even a hashtag Harry. I keep on saying that. I think I said it at the start. It's just Harry Heskiff right now. But, um, anyway... Um, I've got a defensive style which is balance balance but I usually play the attacking which is long ball and it makes runs hashtag Harry explains it better said it again but it's anyway Harry explains it better in the in his video where it, like it just makes runs for the attackers is much better and then a defensive style this is what he does I don't really drop into a defensive or ultra attacking I kind of go into at the end of like a foot champs game if I'm 1-0 down or something or 2-1 down or whatever you need to get a goal but this is my main formation uh, you can copy the tactics there it's pretty good. And then in-game, I need to sort this out because obviously I've just put the players in. It'd be Rodrigo left cam. I like a left footer. It has to be left footer. So good there. Usman Dembele, a middle cam. Obviously, uh, Wijnaldum would be there with Valverde. I like Wijnaldum on the right. Don't ask me why. Just how I played it. And that's how it would line up in-game. And that is such an insane team. For 350k, I think it is right now. That is incredible. And Naki Williams is so quick. He just bombs. This is what I do. Bomb down the right. Cross it in with the X and uh, uh, RB, and then just uh, Bale either gets his head or Usman volley, and then Rodrigo same bomb it down the left, and then when they do cut in, then uh, they they have the the a cross goal shot which is so good for me this year, and yeah this is the instructions I would use so I'd have to do this all again I think no one, um, stay back while attacking on the full backs, as usual stay back while attacking cover centre on both CDMs it just keeps them from like bombing up the pitch when they're using the high attack and work rates. Usman Dembele at middle cam, I do nothing on. Rodrigo, get into the box with cross, it makes diagonal runs. So like when Inaki's crossing it in, uh, Rodrigo's coming in to fall across at the at the back post. And then Bayo is literally just uh, default and everything. He doesn't need anything, the striker never does really. He could get, get, get in behind so he make a little bit more runs, but then, I don't know, I like him just roaming where he wants to. And then uh, obviously, uh, Roles can be anything that you want. I'm kind of running out of breath. I think I feel like I spoke really quickly. I didn't want this video to drag on. I have got some gameplay now. But yeah, super subs, whoever you want. Bronze bench probably doesn't even work. Just did it because, I don't know, it just separates the reserves from the bench. I don't know. That's just, that's just me. But yeah, that team got me my best ever finish with gold one. And uh, the rewards are, like I said, up in the iCard. So hopefully you'll see that and uh, watch that. But yeah, that's it for this video. It's gameplay coming up now, so if you enjoyed it, please give a thumbs up and subscribe and only. Peace.
Just till I get up, time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't want to waste what's left. And I Shadow turns to sun rays and 